What a mess. It appears human homes are not built to withstand everyday explosions. Ah, there you are, boy. Or girl. Do forgive me, I still don't have that one quite perfected. Anyway, I take it you're here to help me clear up the mess that I... That is, that someone made of Madame Vastra's mansion. Personally, I blame that Jenny character. That boy is always juggling grenades when she thinks no one's watching. So, let's get to work, shall we? I believe that particular ornament is meant to be inverted, isn't it? Huh? Surely that was supposed to be in several pieces. Oh, very odd. Personally, I thought that looked better before, but you're the expert. It appears Madame Vastra's mansion is in even better condition than before. You have served your planet well, sir. Madam, Child? No matter. The reward for your efforts might not be an accurate identification of gender from myself, but I believe what I do have for you will more than suffice. Take it! <laughs> Face of Bo, right? Big head, serious face, lives in a jar? Well, I heard that his birthday's coming up, and apparently the big guy's turning like a million billion this year. And you can't let a landmark like that go without a bang. So I figured I'd put on a little musical number for him, which we're supposed to be practicing now. But all my backing dancers have gone AWOL. Hey, could you be a pal and go round up those lazy ood? I'm counting on you. We gotta make the face of Bo's big one. Oh, 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 oh. You know, way back when I was a poster boy, they actually used to call me the face of Bo. Weird coincidence, huh? Maybe he was a poster boy too. All right, this is everyone. We can finally rehearse. Seriously, you guys, the face of Bo isn't getting any younger here. You all ready? Oh, before we get started, take this for your help. Good face of bow for he's a jolly 
really good fit. Oh dear, oh dear. The situation does look rather bleak. We can't have Saigons terrorizing the streets of London. It just won't do. I hope you remember to bring some of your famed ammunition strikes. Greetings. I wonder if you could assist us. A rather grouchy group of Zygons have decided to try their hand at an invasion of London. And it's not for the first time, I might add. This is an operation that could do with a little brute force rather than tact. So I've taken the liberty of bringing Strax along to appease his need for grenades. I shan't think that these Zygons will be able to deal with the three of us combined. Please don't get overexcited, Strax. Anger is always the shortest distance to a mistake. Send a telegram to Inspector Abilene of the Yard. The Zygon threat has been dealt with. Strax, will you bring the horse and carriage around? Oh, wait. Where has he got to now? Oh, I do hope he hasn't been at those jelly sherbet fancies again. Oh. <laughs>
Is it just me or do people around here look extra shiny today? I don't think it's moisturizer. You will be built for repairs, and then you will be assimilated. Okay, I'll deal with this. Basically, the eyebrows say I'm in charge here. I'm the doctor. Now we're talking. System restarting. All primary drives functioning. Well, calm this thing down before I push it off a cliff. I promise you won't be next, though. All Daleks must be destroyed. I will destroy the Daleks. My broken manipulator arm must be avenged. Such bullying among the Daleks will not be tolerated. You will assist me in my plan for revenge. Exterminate the Daleks. Exterminate the Daleks. I know Rusty and Co. have had their differences, but breaking his manipulator arm... Now that just won't do, will it? How about you go off and take this moving dustbin for a walk, and I'll stay here and come up with an over-elaborate plan to destroy you. I, I mean, I'll stay here and keep guard because I'm so nice. Have you seen these eyebrows? they attack eyebrows. Daleks are evil. Daleks must be destroyed. Daleks must be exterminated. Yeah. 
But you are bad, Daleks. Exterminate! 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 I think you got them all, Rusty. Now lay down your lasers. There's a good Dalek. All Daleks have been exterminated, but another threat remains. Well, do stop prattling on, will you? You big lump of useless metal. The threat of gratitude towards a human. Oh. Well, for a minute there, I thought I'd have to use up another regeneration. Just when I was starting to have some fun. This unpleasant feeling of debt must be eradicated. Take this reward so I may no longer feel an obligation towards humans. Well then. I guess you better take it before this rust bucket changes his mind and decides to exterminate you. Now, what do you say to our new Dalek friend? Something nice, perhaps? Try. Thank you. You are welcome! Doctor, but probably not the one you're expecting. Is it just me, or do people around here look extra shiny today? And I don't think it's a moisturizer. <laughs> Hey, fancy doing a little Torchwood mission for me? We got word that the Nestine Consciousness has taken over a plastics factory not far from here. Long story short, the Nestines like playing with their human-sized action figures a little too much. And they brought a bunch of shop window mannequins to life to cause mayhem in the streets. Help me take these dummies down, will ya? living plastic. If I had a 3D printer, I could clone myself and take me out to dinner. all of them. And if I may say so, you were looking pretty good out there. If you fancy catching up later on, you know where to find me. woman from the dawn of time and I need your assistance in a matter of the utmost urgency the peace between my race and human life depends on it come now my dear I will explain everything a dispute between my Silurian relatives and the humans of this age has broken out much to my disappointment after years of keeping the peace 
Unfortunately, my family don't care to be disturbed by humans, resulting in several of them being taken as hostages underground. I would usually ask Jenny and Strax for their assistance on such an important mission. But as you are already here, would you care to restore the peace? We must hurry. My people grow restless with these constant disturbances from humankind. It is only a matter of time before the situation gets out of hand. Cheers, mate. I won't be sorry to see the battle. Lead on. <coughs> Thanks for the rescue. Lead the way. If you ever have need, then do not hesitate to summon me again. Crikey! Smells a bit down here, doesn't it? We must hurry. My people grow restless with these constant disturbances from humankind. It is only a matter of time before the situation gets out of hand. It appears that all of the humans are accounted for. Excellent work, my dear. Perhaps now they will finally learn not to wake my dear relatives with their ridiculous drilling machines. After all, we were here first. Please, take this as a way of thanks.